Hey guys, Darth Sebius here with another Sebius Speaks and today I want to talk about something I'm just going to use an overall title and call it Asshole Gaming. Uh, this kind of covers a number of things um, and I, I've talked about a few of them before in Post and as Index but I kind of just wanted to talk a little bit because it's it's something that we need to kind of, I don't know, that needs to be addressed and people need to look at how they are about some things because I don't know, but geeks and gamers, to a certain extent, there's this, we have a good image of being kind of welcoming and uh, open to things and thoughtful, but there's also, there's the side of just being elitist pricks who <laughs> kind of uh, woman-hating and, like, un, un being able to fathom uh, <laughs> sexuality and people's identities and all other things like that. So, and then there's just general being an asshole when you're, or an asshole, because <laughs> I'm English, um, when you're playing games. So I just wanted to touch on a few things um, and just, yeah, have a bit of a chat about that. And I'd love to hear what you think and maybe your, some of your experiences uh, with things because we all have had experiences and there's games that we we all know and we'll be we're warned about um, the, for, with the kind of arsehole gaming. So uh, a big one for me, um, I've talked about chronic gaming before um, and that it affects kind of how I play um, first-person shooters and the ones that I play just because the, the, the how difficult it is the skill gradient but then also how some of the players uh, can be because of the lack of skill um, and one of those obviously is Call of Duty um, there's quite a hardcore kind of set of gamers with that and there are some lovely Call of Duty players like I play Call of Duty, Sarah plays Call of Duty uh, lots of people we know that are awesome that play Call of Duty but there is this thing of just really giving stick to teammates that aren't pulling their weight and kind of that's something I've been warned about with League of Legends which is something I want to give a try soon I've been told the first thing I need to do is make sure the chat window has disappeared because people can be rather heinous with noobs on that and yeah, it's, it's just a shame really and FIFA is another big one another game that I play quite a lot of uh, and that does make me really angry because of how people can be on there uh, now on FIFA there's a many different forms this can, can <laughs> there's the obnoxious people that have ridiculously loud music playing <laughs> at you and obviously you can mute people but that was difficult before uh, also there's people that swear ridiculously and profusely and just heinously at you when you are playing or when a decision doesn't go their way um, it's something people need to be aware of people of all ages play games like FIFA and that's just not kind of okay to be screaming and like having go it's made me feel really anxious at times and it could really be making other people feel ridiculously anxious and put them off gaming the reason we play games surely is to have fun and multiplayer is surely sharing that fun with other people there is a competitive element I appreciate but it, it's something to do to pass time to have some fun to get excited about and I know when we get excited, passions get high, and people could be more rah, but people can be ridiculous. And F FIFA is an awful one. I was playing a game uh, yesterday, I think it was. Uh, I got two goals ahead rather early on, and then the person decided not to play. Just completely down, so I just carried on playing and uh, just <laughs> having to drag the ball out off the defenders and scoring a few goals because I'm not going to let someone do that and then put me off because if I'm winning, someone's just basically trying to get me to quit, so I get a do not finish, and they hopefully either win the game or get a draw or something, which is just just, just not on. And then there's the the pausing. People love the pausing. I, I'm going to annoy you by pausing it for one minute and 30 seconds. That's the maximum pausing I can do, just to be a bit of a dick. <laughs> it's just unnecessary and ridiculous. Um... Yeah, I've even had it a bit with Hearthstone. Um, people can... There's, there seems to be... Uh, I'm not sure if it might be sorted out now, but if you play... If you half play a card, you have a card sort of hovering uh, above the field. It doesn't seem to always time out the the round. Someone was losing against me and decided to just do that for a good 5-10 minutes uh, until I did actually eventually quit because it was just so frustrating. Um, one that wasn't too much of an arsehole, which a bit of an arsehole, but it's kind of amusing at the same time was so I had a paladin uh, that was healing me <laughs> uh, just to keep me alive so he could attack me for a few more rounds which was rather uh, interesting um, so yeah and there, there, there's that and the idea is just why <laughs> um, there's also this whole geek, geek, uh, geek and gamer thing of just 
attitude to, to, towards women and, and having to test women and calling the whole fake geek girls and all that stuff, which is just ridiculous. And like it happens in many, all sort of forms of geekery, whether it's comics or uh, games or tabletop or wh- whatever it is. And it's just bonkers because, and it ha- doesn't just happen with women, it happens with all sorts of other people. Um, people can be into something and people can start something new and if they will start something that, that you're interested in and you know about, why not share your knowledge or share your enthusiasm with them and get them playing? Because that that's just awesome. Surely not. Like, yeah, I, I don't see how someone showing an interest in something can ever be a bad thing. Um, and we're all geeks and gamers together and this whole kind of elitism and that this game is better than that game and you don't want to be playing that let people do what they want to do. It's just madness. I, I just, I seriously can't understand. If you want to play a game that I don't want to play, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. And things get crazy in, in uh, Warhammer 40k as well. Like, there's a there's a lot of, there's going to be some hate against people playing Ultramarines. Now, if we're playing 40k, <laughs> it's a rather extremely geeky, sort of nerdy thing to be doing. Uh, and someone wants to play 40k, and they've chosen the Legion or a chapter, they would be now... Uh, that the, you you don't like the fluff of, or you don't, and you you don't want to play with them. That's just I don't I don't even know where to start with that. Like <laughs> just another little person not to play with. Uh, it's just it's just crazy. Um, the other thing was there was the recent uh, announcement for the Dragon Age Inquisition, uh, which is going to feature uh, both gay and bisexual romances, and I believe a transgender uh, in- inquisitor. Now, that has made some people with small brains explode. Um, apparently, it makes people feel sick. People don't understand why. People think that <laughs> that uh, gay, bisexual, and transgender people don't play computer games, which is in- <laughs> just insane. All, the, all manner of people across ages, races, sexes, orientations play games and anyone that wants to play a game it surely is awesome and anyone that uh, like should be welcomed to play games and anyone that is playing games should surely want to, to see in some way themselves of, of their interest represented uh, and it's just it's awesome that by way I've made the decision to, to put these sort of things in um, I don't think that the depth of the, the relationship system has been gone into too much just yet um, and it, but it's just more options for more realistic gameplay. Um, I saw a fantastic post on uh, Tumblr. I think it was a, a re, uh, uh, someone's tweet from from, from uh, Twitter, obviously, uh, saying that uh, it's difficult for diversity to be in fantasy because fantasy writers. Uh, right from their experience, um, and then someone added, "Yeah, their their extensive uh, experience with dragons and elves." <laughs> the world is made up of all different people who have all different backgrounds and preferences and tastes and opinions and outlooks on life, and that in itself is an amazing thing that should be welcomed because it just brings more. I don't know, just more more diversity and more different points of view and ways of looking at things that just colour our experience and if that can start to be coming into games a bit more, that could only be an amazing thing um, a lot of these, like I, I know I find myself as a a, a white male who uh, is uh, cis and I happen to be, be straight but I'd, obviously everyone's on a spectrum somewhere uh, but like i there is a lot for me out there. <laughs> there are a lot of characters and things, and it's just amazing for there to be more for other people. And why people could lose their minds over that is just insane. You're just being an asshole. Like, if, if, I, it boggles me. If you don't want to do the, the gay romance, don't do the gay romance. And if the fact that there's if there's someone on the team or someone in the game who's who is transgender that's going to make you not want to play the game, well, that's that's awesome because you're an asshole and you don't deserve to play a game that has something like that. That that's awesome. Um, yeah, that just boggles my mind uh, because there's just so much out there for the, the average people that are saying these are. are <laughs> are white male gamers and it's just not a brilliant thing I'm not obviously um, on a big hate for for, for, uh, for white guys because there, there's a lot of that go, goes around but there is sometimes 
does need to be people being pulled up when they're talking shit. <laughs> and it's just, just not cool. But the Bioware stuff is awesome. And I just want to say that I, I, I think that's awesome. And there should be more representation. Because, <laughs> because um, things may be getting a little better, but not much. Um, we've kind of had the, the archetype of the... Uh, white kind of middle-aged uh, it's your snake your the guy from uncharted kind of character aiden pierce from watchdogs who feels in so many games and then more recently kind of slightly more androgynous punky teenage white man uh, like your infamous and uh, sunset overdrive um so i think it's awesome that there is more things in games and i kind of didn't want to go on about that too much but it kind of does make me, it makes me really excited about the game and the things that being more inclusive, but it makes me really angry about people being so close-minded and stupid about things, because someone's happiness or some, what, how someone feels and how someone wants to feel with another person, how does that really affect you? How does that make you sad or angry? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Reevaluate your life. <laughs> Um, and the other thing, there are so many examples of this sort of thing. I'm, I'm intrigued to see what people think about some of the things that's spoken in this video. Uh, another one is uh, to do with Magic the Gathering. Um, we had someone in our local group who borrowed um, a lot of cards from lots of people uh, to go to a Grand Prix. And at that Grand Prix, something happened. We still don't know the full story, but cards were seemingly sold or bartered, and lots of people didn't get their cards back and this person sort of then refused to, to, to come back or really enter in any kind of dialogue with anyone about trying to get their cards back which is a real shame um, but that's just an, an, an example of things but another thing that I do see in magic and with, with trading is and it does seem to be not I'm seeing more, a bit more problem with some of the younger players, I'm not saying all the younger players uh, but some of the young, younger players there seems to be this whole serious one-upmanship and like hardcore insider trading when it comes to to trading cards um now the kind of the way i see it there's there's three there's three ways that that kind of card trading goes down there's either i have this card you have that card we both have an idea or don't really care or don't know the value of the cards but we agreed to swap cards fantastic uh there's this card is worth this much this card's worth that much well how about I give you this bunch of cards which are then worth that card and we trade and that, that's also fantastic and the same kind of the third one would be the same principle but with the, the value of the card but there seems to be people kind of wanting to trade with other people to have stuff that other people want just so they can hold it over them and trade with them even though they don't know what they want from them but also just people that are less experienced being taken advantage of. I will trade you these cards that you probably won't get to play or don't really want for that really expensive, awesome card that I want. And I just think we need to be more appreciate that when the gaming groups and gaming communities, we, should, we need to be looking after each other and kind of giving each other a fair deal a bit more. Um, I think that's the, my general story and the whole story, the, the message kind of of this video is like, we're all geeks and gamers and why the hell can't we all just get along and treat each other fairly? No matter what game it is we want to be playing. Because another thing I saw, I saw a whole campaign against MOBAs, uh, like League of Legends and Dota and uh, Infinite Crisis and other, other games like that. If you don't want to play that kind of game, don't play it. If someone wants to play it, that's awesome. That's what they want to do. That's fine. Someone playing League of Legends and you're playing Call of Duty, that's, doesn't, that doesn't make you a better person. <laughs> Someone playing League of Legends and you're playing 40k, they're just two different geeky games and that's kind of awesome. It's like when the Xbox One was announced. Um, I, and there is a whole stereotype about uh, jocks and people hardcore into sport not liking geeks and being mean to geeks. But it really turns out it works the other way as well. When Xbox One was originally uh, announced, um, they talk a lot about some of the EA games, like the the, the John Madden and FIFA, and some some other bits and bobs. And people lost their minds. How dare there be sports games? How dare people dedicate time to talking about sports games? And that's just insane. 
if people want to play a game, let people play a game. I just think geeks and gamers and nerds and dorks, we should just, the whole thing of being a geek has been said by so many different people in so many different ways, but it's just finding more joy in something, being more excited about something. Uh, that's what it is for me. Um, and it just, that that's something that enriches my life in a way that it, uh, I, I could never even express. Like, the, the fact that I'm wearing a Superman t-shirt, I, it's so, I'm that little bit happier than I would be if I was just wearing a plain blue t-shirt. Um, and that that's, that's just awesome. And if someone feels more joy and more excited about something, we should just embrace that. And we should also make this place a more welcoming community for, for girls and for for, for other sexualities or, or just other religions or just people, just including people in and just not being so close-minded and shitty about stuff and just not being an arsehole and trying to make the playing experience worse for other people. Because after all, we're just trying to have fun. And that's the kind of thing I want to end that. Just all geek gaming is about fun. So if you're spoiling someone's fun and you or you're opposed to someone being included in the fun in some way, then that's just not cool. You need to look at yourself and think about why you, you're, yeah, not making things fun for people and why you don't want people to have fun. And that's the end of that. Uh, I This has been a Sebius Speaks. Uh, I'm Darth Sebius. This is for Allies Index. Uh, dot com. Uh, well, Alice Index. Alice is Alice Index dot com. A place for all things geeky gaming. And if you want to share anything uh, to do with geeky gaming with us, maybe some experiences you've had, or maybe just spreading some more, some more love, because it's all about the joy. That's kind of what Alice Index is about. It's the joy of geeky gaming. So if you want to share anything with us, come get get involved and get in touch with us. Um, but yeah, just check out the geek crew we have. And again, I'm Darth Sebius, and I'll catch you guys soon. Tally bye.